In just a few weeks, state lawmakers will head back to Austin for the third legislative session, redistricting a major item on the agenda. Yeah, and the state's new voting district lines will be redrawn based on the 2020 census. Channel 5's Thumby Verma spoke with two Valley lawmakers about what it could mean for our area. Thumby? This year, Texas will get two more congressional seats, but these two Valley state reps tell Channel 5 they don't think it's likely the Valley will get either of them. They do share the belief that the Valley was undercounted in the latest census and that we'll see the negative effects of that. According to the 2020 census, the population of Texas has increased by some 16% since 2010. But Rep Armando Martinez from Hidalgo County says based off of that growth, he knows where the two additional congressional seats will be going, neither here in the Valley. There's two that are going to be created, but that's going to be in the Metroplex area, like Dallas and, and uh, Houston. Martina says the data they've been given shows the Valley has been undercounted. We feel that we were undercounted, so our population is going to be under a million, which we know that it's clearly over a million. Meanwhile, Representative Alex Dominguez says Cameron County has been left behind again. Hidalgo County grew about 7 or 8 percent more than Cameron, which I, I find uh, probably not consistent with uh, anecdotal efforts here in Cameron County. And both men say ultimately this will pose a problem for anyone planning to run for office, saying that people running in the primary in March likely won't even know exactly what their district will be. We may not have final maps until January or February. You, you really don't know which uh, district you're running. This process promises to be as contentious as much of the previous legislative sessions have been. Two Democratic senators having already filed a federal lawsuit, saying the maps can't be redrawn in a special session, but would have to be done during the first regular session after the numbers were announced. And that won't take place until January 2023. Ben Viverma, Channel 5 News.